Just keep your eye on that door. And that's 6.30 Monday morning. Not a bad way to start the week. Pretty soon now, they'll start shooting the 20th James Bond movie. And I think I found the perfect place for the baddies lair. Tucked away in deepest, darkest Sweden, Volvo's new crash test center costs 50 million pounds and is the most advanced in the world. It's a far cry from the good old, bad old days of car safety. Back then it was a fantastic time to be an egg, but not so good for humans. Gradually crash testing did become more sophisticated, but even until recently the most complex test they could do involved a moving car hitting a stationary one. Which is great, except that in real world crashes, both cars are usually on the move. But now, for the first time, Volvo can do that very thing. What we have is two long tunnels set at 90 degrees to one another. And they fire a car down that one. And they fire a car down that one. And it gets better, because the cars are actually laser guided, like missiles. The laser beams not only tell them how fast to go, but also which part of the other car to hit to within 25 millimeters. Very impressive, but sadly, still not good enough. You see, in real life, cars don't just hit each other at perfect 90 degrees. They collide at all sorts of angles. So what do you do? One solution would be to move one of the tunnels, but since it's almost 300 feet long and weighs 600 tons, then that's impossible, isn't it? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the building is on the move. A man presses a button and the whole thing rises on a cushion of air and swings round like the hand of a clock to whatever angle the engineers fancy. And then... Morning! The cars are fired again. On top of that, the centre can do some pretty spectacular rollover tests. Even replicate hitting Rudolph full on the nose at 50 miles an hour. But Volvo also has to crash the trucks it builds. And naturally, they'll need something pretty hefty to hit. Well, this should do it. It's a great big cube made of iron ore, concrete and steel. And it weighs 850 tonnes. So even if a truck hits it at 50 miles an hour, it'll still only move by 0 0.01 of a millimetre. So can anything shift it? Uh, yeah, actually. Another man presses another button and the cube rotates on a cushion of air so that it can be hit from any angle. This safety center has been built to recreate what actually happens out there on the roads. For the last 30 years, Volvo has been sending out its own research teams to real-life crashes and along the way has gathered data on 28,000 serious accidents. All this research is leading towards cars that think for themselves. Soon, Volvo will unveil a model with sensors that monitor the driver's eyes and automatically adjust their seat to give them the best visibility. They even aim to develop safety systems which can tell whether you're old or young, fat or thin, man or woman. But until that stuff comes along, then I guess us humans will keep acting like dummies. Which means it's down to you, mate.